What's up, dudes? Chooch out here riding on the B Goat EXN, and this is the 2700 watt hour, 2800 watt fast electric unicycle. It is basically, I call this the hybrid wheel, guys, because this thing is the do it all. You can really go long range on this thing, you can go high speed on it, and it handles really good for the amount of range that it does have. So with 2,800 watts um, of motor power combined with 2,700 watt hours of battery power, this just is a really, really fast wheel that has enough power to ride it as aggressively as you want to. You're not going to be limited by this wheel at all in terms of how you want to ride it. And that's what I love about this wheel, guys. I really, really love the fact that I can push this thing as hard as I want to with the utmost confidence. And I know that, you know, there is some uh, animosity towards the B-Goad wheels, guys. But just so you know, this wheel right here, since I got it, and uh, I'm going wood, let me find some wood to knock off. But since I got it, I literally have braced this thing twice, rode it in three or four different states. And this is all after I did that waterproofing job that I got a bunch of flack for. And I put all that marine grease and everything in it. Oh, check that out, dude. That corner was so sketchy. The way the light was and everything, I didn't see that this corner was full of snow. So I was riding up in altitude, and this is the first section of road that had ice on it right there. And so I was just like coming up the mountain, there was no snow or anything, or ice on the mountain at all. And then that was like the first um, patch that I had passed. And so it caught me off guard. But the rest of the hills were kind of icy up here, guys. There's so much brine and salt on the roads. If you can ride this, you can ride anywhere though. And that's the key. Uh, if you can if you can ride on these roads and you can put up with the ice and then you can also put up with the salt on the road with a slick tire it makes you a way better rider i tell you that guys because you got to put up with so many little obstacles you got to unweight for the little snow bumps you got to be really aware of everything that's going on because if you slip guys you got one point of contact and if you start sliding man it's no good and actually I have slid a few times up here guys on the ice and on this uh, salt stuff on the roads I've absolutely broke traction and just done a power slide like you would not believe on this thing and I, th I mean one that I wish I had the camera for guys because it didn't even there's something that I didn't think I would come out of I really was just like holding on for dear life sliding sideways on this thing on on either the ice or either on the salt the thing that happens is it, it's just like science class guys whenever the guy's sitting up there and he has the bicycle wheel and he spins it the gyro effect with it and the faster you're going you can pull off the power slide guys even if the sketchiest uh traction brake on this wheel if you just go in like as soon as that thing breaks guys you literally just have to have the mindset of okay i'm not letting this thing dip and literally just stay on it guys as soon as that traction breaks and it starts i mean drifting under you and you've like you freak out a little bit in the head but after it happens a few times and you realize like hey if i just stay on this thing upright the best i can usually and keep looking ahead to where i want to go you'll get you'll make it out of it and riding out a power drift on one of these things is the most exhilarating thing you'll probably do in the year i'm not kidding you guys if you hit a, a power drift on this thing and it, you're going sideways on either the ice or the <laughs> the salt on the road it is something else so good news guys with all the new vigo exns they're going to be fitted with the die cast 13 and a half or 13.1 inch um pedals on them so you're not going to even have to buy upgraded pedals going to ship with those from eWheels and eWheels has them in stock right now and I'll put the card up at the top and if you purchase through that link it helps me out guys at no extra cost to you and they have them ready to roll right now so you're not gonna have to wait for them to come over on the slow boat they're 
in the shop ready to ship out right now and this one all the new Goat EXNs are going to be better than the one I'm riding in this video the new ones are going to have new black controller in it they're going to have the improved bearings in it and it's going to have better water resistance to it and you see I'm still riding mine mine was the first one and people complain about water resistance on it but I just loaded that thing up with uh, marine grease in there and it's been good to go you won't have to do that with the new ones it'll come greased up and the bearings different and it's sealed up way better so you're not even gonna have to fool with it but just showing you uh, it's been a year now since I got this one and it's been phenomenal straight up I've had no no issues with this wheel at all and usually I don't go a year with any unicycle without having a problem with it and this just shows guys to all the guys that hate on e goads I think it's um time you stop bandwagoning all <laughs> Facebook post to come up with something new, dude, it's because it's kind of been proven. Uh, every race is nothing but V-code wheels, and the fastest wheels that I, you know, in my head that I'm like, want to full send. Look at this, going into, dude, that was sketchy right there. <laughs> that was so sketchy, bro. Like, I, I, I came around that corner, I saw all that ice and snow, and then a car to the left, and I was like, okay, okay. Let's hang on for dear life right now. We're making it through this one right now and getting over this. But anyways, there's like like I said, the Vigo EXN is um, it's been great, and they refined this wheel over the past year since it did come out. It came out about a year ago. They've refined it three different times, and so it's. I mean, what you're seeing right here is just going to be better than that. And if you're looking for something that's great on the road and um, but you're also wanting to be able to just go long range like you can literally treat this guys like a um, basically like an adventure bike I literally ride this one pretty much just like I do my Sherman the Sherman is just for those those rides where I know I'm gonna be gone like all all day long the EXN is my hybrid wheel like I said at the beginning this wheel is it's a do-it-all wheel. The cool thing about it is you got the range, you got the speed to get on the road, to really have fun with it, and really have it as much speed as you need to in most cities and metropolitan areas, and keep up with traffic, and it has really good acceleration, and it's really not too um, bulky. It really is quite nimble for the amount of power and range you're getting out of it, and that's one thing I like, like about the EXN. And kind of one downfall though is that the top speed is only 40 and like a year ago 40 miles an hour on one of these unicycles was hella fast and like that's pretty much what you wanted and the reason I like this wheel so much though is because you, if you notice in this video you're not really typically going over 40 miles an hour too much like right here I'll give you, I'll literally tell you straight up, I'm rolling about 38 right here. And I keep it at about 38, and once I get to 39 and 40, it starts to tilt back just a little bit the way I have it set. Now with the Sherman, I can easily, easily get to like 49 miles an hour on a veteran Sherman without, without it even like starting to beep on me. And, and that's a big difference. That is on the straightaway. And it takes a little while to build up to that, guys. It does. It definitely takes a, a minute to build up to that speed. And if you really think about it, how much are you going to be going over like 40 miles an hour on a unicycle like this? And you can see in this video right here, it's typically not too much. Now, some scenarios where I would like to have the veteran Sherman and be able to go 49 miles an hour and 50 plus is maybe like like that day in Los Angeles whenever I was riding in Los Angeles and traffic picks up like it's like in the downtown area yeah you're going like 30 miles an hour or so just cruising 30 ish 30 but sometimes if you're riding the main road in, in LA you gotta have enough speed to be able to boost and just get out in front of cars, get out in front of traffic. And the Sherman 
definitely has the acceleration and the top end to do it. And the stability. The stability is a big thing, guys. This wheel is fun and nimble still, but I wouldn't be able to ride the Sherman exactly like I'm riding this wheel right here. You gotta change it up a little bit. Your pedals are a little bit lower on the Sherman. The weight is a little bit higher on the Sherman because it's a thinner wheel. Your batteries are higher up. This wheel, the EXN, the, bat, like, the weight is just lower on this wheel. And so it just handles weight different. And it's just, fun, like, the differences are astounding between the two. And I love both of them. Like, I seriously love the Veteran Sherman, and I love the EXN. And I can hop back and forth between both of them relatively easily and get used to them both quick, understand their, their, their weaknesses, understand, the, like, their benefits of each one, and... and how I need to change up my riding style and what I can expect it to do and what I can expect it not to do. And with the Veteran Sherman, I like it for those situations where I'm going to be in like heavy traffic that's rolling rolling 40 plus miles an hour, guys. Like that, that, that wheel is just going to give you the mindset of being almost on a motorcycle. And that's the only wheel that's gonna really do it, is like so far as like the Veteran Sherman or like the Monster Pro. Where you're gonna notice the difference and where you would like to have the Veteran Sherman or the Veteran Max that's out right now that you can buy, where you would like to have those wheels over the EXN is a scenario where you're gonna be rolling 45 miles an hour plus and the road is hellaciously bumpy. And that is definitely not something to overlook because come the day where you're riding over 45 miles an hour and you are on an extremely bumpy road he, i will tell you exactly the day i learned what i'm telling you is i was riding through vegas on the veteran sherman and they were doing road construction they had all those metal grates all over the ground everywhere and it was nighttime and i could barely see them this is before i had the lasik surgery done and it was nighttime my night vision is horrible I had goggles on that were tinted they were not the clear frame goggles and i was just cruising at probably 48 miles an hour down the vegas strip where they were doing construction and i came in guys and i hit a section of those metal grates that were raised up about an inch with an inch lip of concrete and it was they were just jagged i mean they were everywhere in a jagged form and it was as soon as i hit those i thought in my head man this thing is stable right now as soon as i hit those on that veteran sherman i was like this thing is incredibly stable compared to any other unicycle and so for scenarios like that where you're going to be rolling fast guys and have a bumpy road veteran sherman veteran max with that CST tire, it just, something about that wheel, the way it's all set up, how low the pedals are, it has stability like no other. So if that's the type of riding you're doing, and that's the thing you want, is just stability going fast in a straight line, don't overlook the Veteran Max. I mean, I still love that wheel so much. I mean, it's one of my favorites, uh, my Veteran Sherman. But definitely look at the Veteran Max too, because if you aren't going to be riding like I was riding in this video and you're just wanting to ride long range at high speeds, check out the Veteran Max over this one. Anyways, dudes, it's been Chooch. Hope you all enjoyed the video. If y'all did, throw the thumbs up. I will see you dudes in the next one. S20 coming soon.